Ukraine has just taken a historic leap in defense technology. A new agreement with Sweden will allow Ukraine to build its own fighter jets, the advanced Saab Gripen, marking the country's first ever domestic fighter jet factory. This isn't only about planes, it's about independence, resilience, and the rebirth of an aerospace industry in wartime. Signed in early November, the deal between Ukraine's government and Sweden's Saab AB covers up to 150 Gripen E fighters. But the headline isn't just about numbers, it's about building them in Ukraine. The agreement includes full technology transfer, assembly lines, tools, software systems, and training for Ukrainian engineers. The goal, by 2033, Ukraine will have its own fully operational fighter jet production line. The Gripen is perfect for Ukraine's battlefield reality. It's a light, multi-role jet that can take off from highways, refuel quickly, and operate in dispersed locations, ideal for surviving missile strikes. By manufacturing them locally, Ukraine gains strategic independence, thousands of new jobs, and a permanent aerospace hub tied to Europe's defense network. For Sweden, it strengthens NATO's eastern flank and cements Saab's role as a major defense exporter. Of course, there are challenges. Ukraine must build and protect new industrial infrastructure during an ongoing war. Financing the full project could exceed tens of billions of dollars, involving Swedish aid, export credits, and possibly frozen Russian assets. And most importantly, Ukraine must train a new generation of engineers, pilots, and technicians to sustain an entire fighter jet industry. This partnership represents more than a weapons deal. It's the start of Ukraine's long-term air power sovereignty, a move from buyer to builder. It also strengthens Europe's defense unity, as Nordic and Eastern nations link their industries together. For Russia, it's a clear signal. Ukraine's defense capabilities will keep growing, and they'll now be made at home. Ukraine's first fighter jet factory isn't just a project, it's a promise, a future where Ukraine controls its skies and its destiny.